When we had last left the Sentinel, their adventures with the Tracker's Alliance continued, with them finally closing in on their target, or so they thought. Yeah, it turned out to be, once again, it, it was a trap. They knew this, but they weren't able to say anything about it. How unfortunate. But from uh, all of that, they got some cool stuff, including a starship. Now it was time to build it up. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And we're going to do exactly that. This is one of our special 0.5 videos. Feel free to skip it if you don't want any, um, I don't know, if you don't want to see any shipbuilding, right? But some folks tend to like it. Watch it. Ships coming and going all the time. I know, I'm one of them. I'm one of those ships. Let's see, Andresia, do you have anything on you before I forget? If I can take a few things, I... You do, actually. Wow, you you really do. You have a whole bunch of resources. Okay. Well, Very good talk. Good. Let's see here. Hello. Hey, what can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? I want to modify my ships. Okay, no problem. Okay. Junker Watchdog. Cool. What's... Oh, we do actually need to register it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, thank goodness it's cheap. Okay. There we are. We have just a little under a hundred grand. Should be fine, right? So what kind of parts do we have on this? Shipbuilder. What is this predominantly made of? Hope Tech. Huh. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Fuel tank up top. Some other doohickeys down here. Sure. Alright, alright. Cool. Hmm. Well, I think we at least lengthen it a little bit. You feel me? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, well, before we get to that, let's let's throw in a high-tier shield. That seems necessary. Or may, no, let's let's add in the the structural stuff first. Let's get the habs going. Right. Let's see. What all do I want here? Hmm. I guess we ought to go with more hope tech components, right? So what all do we have currently for Hope Tech components? We have Control Station 2x1 and Storeroom Fuselage. Fuselage. Where are my warnings? Low mobility. Sh missing weapon assignment. Reduce mass or add engines to improve mobility. Very well. Well, let's move these. You feel me? There we go. Here's our shield generator. It's fine. Okay. And then... Let's see here. Hmm. God, it looks so gnarly with this on the front, but I almost feel like that's integral to... <laughs> to the way it looks, you know? I almost feel as if that is integral. Right, to matching the vibe. As it were. Okay. So. All in one. Companion way. How about this little weird shaped one up at the top? Should we maintain that? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know about that. Okay. Either way. We're going with the hope tech. Two by one perhaps. Engineering bays, armory, captain's quarters. Hmm. Should we go with the empty ones, or should we go with ones that are already filled? You know? That's the real question. Oh, some of these, there aren't variants. Yeah. Like, the one-by-ones? Yeah, there's no variant for 
filled or not. Hmm. Okay. And what was this one again? Control station. Part of me wonders, should we get rid of the control station and put in a engineering and then put in a one, a single, a one by one, right? Get a three by one and a one by one. That's what I'm thinking. Well, nah, I don't know. It just ain't quite as versatile, you know? What should we get, though? Hmm. Could get an all-in-one berth and make it empty. Could do that. That way we can put all of our crafting crap in there. Yeah, maybe that's the play. Yeah, let's do the all-in-one berth, but make it empty. Okay. That way we can physically place crafting units in there. I think that's a good idea. Okay. And then, up top here... Hmm... Let's see. How about we add on... Well, can one of these attach back here too? Yeah, they can. Fantastic. That will probably be somewhat necessary. Okay. And then what do I want up top? Used to be the reactor. Yeah, we should put a reactor in. Right? Okay, let's have a look at what they have here. Whoa, are some of these new? Tokamak? I don't know. I don't remember them. It's been a while since we looked through the shipbuilding, though. Probably not new, right? Okay. Hmm. Which type do I want? Mind you, if I get a lot of these, they're going to be really big. Right? They're going to be quite significant in size. But that is probably what we want. Hmm. Let's see, that's 34 power generated. I just feel like that's the most important stat, is power generated. Okay. So, by that virtue, let's go with the sheared flow reactor here. Okay. Okay. Place that there. And this. Can we raise this up a bit? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Hmm. And then, well, maybe we rotate this around. Can I rotate this in any fashion? Or is the butt end of it always facing out that way? I think it is. Alright, well, that's okay. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. See, now part of me is wondering if we should go to... Hope Tech's place and try and get another matching top. Right, the storeroom fuselage. Fuselage. Okay. Let's throw that right there. And that right there. Yeah, let's go to Hope Tech. Let's see, are there any good shield gens I can pop down here, though? Let's see, shield max. Are there any that regen slightly faster? Oh, the lower tier ones regen faster. Gotcha. Well, not much you can do there. Okay. 
Golly, these things are expensive, huh? Okay, and then... I have to set it on top as well. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't know. Well, we can definitely sell that off. Huh. Yeah, it may just well be that we need to get some cheaper shit. You feel me? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of this being on the lower level. Okay. Let's move that like so. And then... Right there. Well, hang on. Let's move this back again. There we are. And that right there. Like that. Okay. Now, are these even actually connected, or are these considered, like, floating? <laughs> these may be considered floating, right? Because none of these connect. Which might be a bit of a problem. Hmm. Okay. In which case, I just need some structural, right? I just need a little structural. Now, I could also probably fit this under here. Yeah, probably. If I move this back a bit, pop that right there. Fit that underneath. Good. Okay. Hmm. Okay, maybe we put this up top. Move this right there and then put the grav drive right here right and then that right there no doesn't want to go there could always put it on top that right there get that there like so well, no, it doesn't want to do that either. Hmm. Okay, let's move that. And then... I guess we'll put that right there. Yeah, that'll have to do. Can I fit this underneath again? I can. Okay. Great. Sure. But then, I don't know if I want that. Right? Let's put it back on top right there. Yeah, that looks better. Marginally. <laughs> okay. Delete that. Okay, and then what is our one error? Flight check. Oh, too expensive. Right, fair enough. Okay, so what do we want to give up then? Hmm. Maybe the shield, right? Maybe we get rid of some of the shielding. And we get a cheaper one. Some of these also can fit in different locations, right? Yeah. Yeah, like there's a plenty of side-mounted ones, huh? Yeah, there are so many side-mounted little doohickeys here. Okay. Is our old one in here? No, it is not. Well, what can you really do? Okay. How are some of these other other ones looking? The ones with Starship Design Rank 4? God, they require a lot of power. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go a little bit cheaper on the shielding, huh? Okay. Hmm. Like, I could put one of these up here. No, because that's also too expensive. Right? Warning. Missing a shield. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Okay. We could also place one of these little rinky-dink ones. I do like the look of them. They do look fun. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Sure. That's not terrible. Okay, and then... Hmm. Can I get some more landing gear or whatever? Oh, here's the... Docking units, too. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Okay. I wonder how it would look having multiple of these, like, Hope Landing Gears, you know? I bet that could look kind of cool. Can you flip them or anything? You can duplicate. Okay, but nonetheless, we need landing gear. Or not landing gear, do we? Yeah, what are these? Yeah, that's landing gear. Okay. Also, Hope Tech. Yeah, we don't have any of the cool, like, side-mounted ones, do we? We'll probably have to go to Hope Tech. Okay, what's available for structural here, though? To, like, pretty it up. Oh, God, yeah, one of these horrifying bumpers. I kind of like how horrifying they are, though. Okay. Hmm. Got these parts. Stuff like that. Hope Tech Thruster. Okay. Hmm, then we're moving into Stroud stuff and Teo. Okay. I mean, I do love these... These pipes. I do love those. Make no mistake. Huh. Okay. Equipment plate. Yeah, I guess if you want to put a gun up there or whatever, it's good for that. Okay, well, don't know that I do want that, though. Flip this around, put it there. Would this look good with just two of them interconnected in such a way? Nah, I don't really like that. These pipes. Okay, how about... How about something like that? Yeah, I love that. I love the look of that. Yeah, I really, really like that. I'm such a sucker for the radiators is the issue. I think I like the radiators too much. Okay. Hmm. Can we shove this thing out a bit more? Have it jut out? No. Conflicts with the... Uh, Landing unit there. 
Okay. Hmm. 50 grav jump fuel in that, huh? All right. Well, if I do that, and then... Let's see here. Oh, here's these cockpits and stuff. Yeah. Which they do afford you a little bit more cargo. Okay. Hmm. Ha ha ha. And we do also have the option of keeping making making the reactor smaller if we wanted. That is a possibility. Okay. Which it would certainly help with the profile of the ship. It's got to be said. Okay. Yeah, let's get some more side-mounted crap, I think. How about these weapons? Where else can they be mounted? Just really up here? Seems like it. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. How about engines? What what kind of... Well, no. Let's go back to the reactors. Yeah, maybe I want... A one-floor, a one-story reactor. Or whatever you would refer to it as. You know? Like, how much is our current one? 64 grand. Yeah, it's the main thing contributing to our cost. So let's bring it down a bit. Like, this ain't bad. You know? This B-class one? It gives 31 power generated. That's pretty substantial for a B-class. And for being as, like, low profile as it is. God, yeah, look at this one. Huh. Okay. Minimum fuel tank count. Not enough fuel tanks. Gotcha. That's fine. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And let's add on... Yeah, let's add on one of these, like... Reactors that are lower profile. Just one story. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. The... 103DS Mag Inertial Reactor from Dogstar... Yeah, look at all the Starship Design Rank 4 ones. Jeez, some of these are incredible. Gosh, we just need a little bit more. Probably with this ship build, we'll have it. So next time we get a character level, we'll get the good stuff. I really do enjoy building ships in this game. It's got to be said. Okay, so let's place that there. There's our reactor. We cut costs a little bit. Good. I really want another one of these types of landers. Right, like right here or something like that. Okay. Now I'm curious, would it look better with the hab on the bottom? Because the interior would be more satisfying, I think, with the hab on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that looks so much nicer, I think. Am I wrong about that? I, know, I think it looks good. I like that. God, I love these big fucking things up top. 
I love the radiators and shit. That I, I, I'm such a sucker for them. Like, I already knew I was a sucker for them, but man, playing this game has made me realize it even more so. That they just look neat. They just look cool as hell. Okay, so what's our other error? Right, the fuel tanks. I keep forgetting. Okay. Oh, and shielding. <laughs> right, we should probably also get some shielding, huh? Okay. We got these top-mounted ones. If we want them. But we may go for, like, side-mounted or something. Right, that's... Far more likely. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Hmm. Who are all the manufacturers for shields? Dogstar makes a lot here, at least on Aquila. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this Dogstar. Good lord. It's quite nice. What has the highest regen rate, though? Is that tied to... Yeah, that's all tied to class. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this dog star, the 33T, is the way to go. Or maybe this one. Right, the Sexton. It's only an A-class shield. But it does afford a bunch of power. This is quite nice too, the Guardian shield. Right, maybe I stick one of these on here. There we are. Okay. And then... We can put a little cargo unit here on the other side to sort of balance it out. Okay. What's a little smaller one? Hmm. Something like this. Yeah, that, f that would fit there nicely. And there's also room underneath for the undercarriage area, if we wanted that. In fact, is there like a sloping one? That slopes from like... The, uh, toward the aft from the fore, and then upward toward the aft. I'm pretty sure that exists, but I don't know that it exists here in this inventory. Right? Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we just throw one of these on. Get it right there. Eh, it's a little too high profile, right? It's a little too big. Okay. This could be nice. How does this stuff all get mathed out anyway? Is the hole to mass, or the cargo to mass ratio always spot on, or are there some, some that are really efficient? Right, like low mass cargo units. That would be cool. Now we could also move something like this down to the undercarriage and then put like a cargo up top. Right, that's also within the realm of possibility. Hmm. Yeah, like we could put one of these galleon units up there. One of these could go down at the bottom. Huh. In fact, yeah, this is probably the answer. 
put one of these underneath. Right? No, I don't know. I kind of like the look of it having that bit of a gap there. It makes it look a little extra shitty, <laughs> right? I like the idea that it looks a little shitty. Okay. So let's try this. Good. And then... Duplicate that. Flip it. Place it there. Alright. We're right back real quick. Gotta use the restroom. Okay, we are back. Let's see. So how much more money do I have to spare? Not nearly enough. Hmm. Yeah. Forgotten how much these higher tier like ship parts cost. You know, they are pretty expensive. Okay. I do quite like the look of these little cargo holds here, the Caravel ones. Yeah, they look nice, kind of like stuck onto the side there like that. I'm thinking next time we go out to, to clear shit out, we just need to loot up everything and give it to like a follower. All of the weapons, at least. They tend to have the best value to weight ratio. Get all those sold off. Okay. I, I do have to say, though, I love how... New Game Plus kind of resets the economy. Right? The, like, in-game economy. Because that's always the issue that you run into in these games. Is that eventually, after playing for long enough, you have so much money. Right? And you can pretty much resolve any problem by throwing money at it. Right? Thus... By not having much money, the problems become more realized. Okay. Yeah, I like the look of this. I feel as though I should put something underneath, though. Right? Hmm. Oh, ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. Oh. Because this is only a B-class reactor, and I've got a C-class something. Oh, the shield unit. Oh, okay. Sure, well, we'll do that. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, let's go over to shields. Because we could get a C-class reactor. I could get that. But I think the, the only way we're getting it is by way of um, the ship design perk. Let's see, reactors here. Yeah, like a low profile one. Well, no. I think all the C-class ones are double-deckers, at least here in Aquila. Yeah. Huh. What do you know? Okay. So what's a good B one? The Warden is quite good. Oh, this is quite good. The, the Defender Shield. We shall do this. I think this is the same shield manufacturer and brand that we had before. Okay. And then... Let me throw down some sort of fuel. Hmm. What kind do I want? Well, I like the look of this. Right, it goes quite good there. Oh yeah, in fact, that looks amazing. 
Yeah, that looks very nice. Okay. Could throw something right there. That way we get some degree of symmetry here. Put another one down. Flip it. Pop it right there. Good. Okay. Or, right, maybe we move these. We interchange them. Have the one that's a wider profile up top in the middle, so that way it kind of curves. Right? There's the inclination of, like, some kind of curvature. Like a curvature going on. I like that. Good. Because when we do that, it makes the, the landing gear legs sort of stick out more, right? The silhouette sort of uh, makes the landing gear feel more like landing gear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I do wonder, though. Should I make it longer? Right? Because I see this and I wonder, what if it's too tall up top? You know? I see that and I wonder. I wonder. Right? What if, what if we lowered this? Well, that's perfect. That fits there perfectly. Well, we have to do that. Look at that shit. God, that is beautiful. Okay. And then, let's move this back a bit. Bring that down. Okay. And then... Let's see. Raise this up. Oh, yeah, and it connects into the reactor. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. And then let's bring, whoa. Bring this down here. Good. And then, hmm. Now my issue is, how do I get the engines to look nice? What if we had ones that came off the side, though? Right? What if we did that? Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, what if we had engines that come off the sides? Oh, yeah, what if we did that? Okay. How much extra money do I have? I got a bit. Let's see. Are there any, like, side-mounted ones? Oh, yeah, there are. Oh, yeah, there are. What manufacturers do we have? Slayton. Fuck off. Man, I love that. I actually love that. I love that That I've... I just saw... Yeah, one of the best ones is the SAL, the Slaytons. Right? And... I can think, I see the logo and I see the brand there, and I think, oh yeah, I remember running into that dude, right? I remember that with the main quest, you know? Or or I guess also the spin-off thing involving them, right? You don't have to do that part. That's like bonus extra stuff for Walter, isn't it? There should be more of that, right? There should be more stuff where like, oh, you look at Slayton, you think of the guy, you look at, um, like, Hope Tech, you know the whole situation there, right? But a lot of these are sort of, like, faceless organizations, which is true to life, right? But in my science fiction shit where I'm building, where I love building a starship, I love if I can, like, not put the face to every organization, but put a face to it. You feel me? Man, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool looking, huh? We may not be able to fit much on here, though. Right, that may be the issue. Let's see, if I get rid of these, how much do I clear up? Whew, not much. Not much in the way of moolah. Could throw some of these white dwarves on the back. No, that looks wrong. Right there, it looks more promising. Yeah, right there, that looks kind of nice. But right there, that looks wrong. Hmm. 
Right. Yeah. Because this shouldn't jut out further than the little reactor. You know, and there's this here too. Like if this were extended forward, yeah, that looks better. If there were another little doohickey there I could attach to. Is there another little doohickey I can attach? <laughs> could I do that? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I can move this back again. Oh, there we are. And then we move the grav drive up right there. Yeah, that now we're cooking with gas. Okay. Cool. But now our price has become an issue, <laughs> right? Our price is not right. Okay. Hmm. Just as well. This looks kind of cool in its own way. You know, having this thing sticking. Yeah, what if I move these around? Pop them under there. And put that right there. Oh, that's kind of neat. Isn't that kind of neat? No? Now this is hanging, however. But I think that's okay. Okay. Now the real question is, if I get rid of that, well, our, our cost is still through the fucking roof, huh? Okay. So what I need is I need the cheap-ass one. Yeah. So I can still have the style. Okay. Great. And then, the real question is, do I want more of these pipes or more of the radiators? Because both would look good there. And then we'll have to cut costs elsewhere again. So how's that look? I feel like that's kind of a look. But as is that. Hmm. How do I want it to be? Is the question. I think I like the, the extra piping. Yeah. I think I like that. Hmm. Yeah. I think I prefer it that way. I can also stick a little shield unit back there. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm into it. Okay. I'm liking the look of this, but we're going to need to cut costs again. You feel me? How little money we have. Okay. And ideally, eventually, we'll put another one of these, like, landing gears right about here or so. Something along those lines. And I think that'll look excellent. Okay. But for now, for the time being... Yeah, I kind of love how shit it looks having the 4-Docker, the Hope Tech 4-Docker, right on the front. Right? Even if I did want to get rid of that at some point, I would probably still put, like, the bumpers on the front. Right? Just to have something there. Yeah, I love the way it looks. Because the rest of it is fairly streamlined, and then toward the front there's, like, this unnecessary sort of bulk. Okay. It's almost like a dragonfly. Or penis, whatever you prefer. <laughs> right, it's a little phallic. <laughs> okay. There we are. Hmm. Let's see. Huh.
So. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's look at... Let's look at the fuel. Right? What's some of the cheapest pieces of shit fuel we can get? And how much are these? Three grand. 3.4 grand. About 3.5. Okay. So these will cut costs a bit. Hmm. I could just downgrade them. Which is probably the ideal solution here. What are these even attached to? Oh, to the sides. I see. I really wish there was more, like, prevalence or reason to have more fuel on your ship. Because I love the look of the fuel tanks. Right? They look so neat. I really hope that at some point they add in, a, like, the, the refueling being necessary. You know? Otherwise, by the time we finish the playthrough, I'm just going to keep playing Starfield every now and then. And get <laughs> I'm going to get a mod that adds back in all the shit that they cut to, to make the game more accessible or whatever. <laughs> right? Got to make it more for, for freaks. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just downgrade these. Feel me? These fuel tanks... They can go down a notch. Good. How do these, like, higher tier ones look? Okay. They're just the big ones. They even have, like, structural pieces attached to them. Oop. Not quite there. There we are. And then... See, I almost feel as if, um... We raise that up for now. You know? Yeah, I feel like that's the move. Okay. Flip that around. And then let's add back in the cargo, but make it smaller. Right? It's easy to throw on more cargo. It's so easy to do it. How much are these? Oh, God, they're already quite cheap. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's another way we can cut back on the costs here. I guess our, our reactor, we could downgrade that. Yeah. Because we may have more reactor than we need at present since we've downgraded other parts of our junk. You know? Mag inertial reactor from Dogstar. God, I hope Dogstar is just a company ran by a dog. God, that would be so fucking dope. Okay. Sure. Now, how much is this one? 48k. Yeah, so we get... Yeah, that helps a ton. And then we can very easily upgrade that. Okay. Cool. Love it. Yeah, and I can see very clear, like, upgrade pads for the rest of it. You know, I like that. Okay. Sure. Should we give it a new name? I think so. Right? I like, uh, this time around using our, our own names. In a lot of games, I always have the the same name for a vehicle. Especially, like, starships. Like, um... In No Man's Sky. For instance, the most readily available point of comparison. Or if, or if uh, Star Citizen ever hits 1.0, while I'm still alive, <laughs> I'll play that, and in there, I will name my ship the High Charlatan. Which I've, I've just always done. It doesn't have any particular meaning. I just thought it was cool at the time. I forgot what, what game it was where I originally came up with it. I think it was in uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Or maybe it was um, on the channel. We've definitely I've definitely used it before in 
dead fire in Pillars of Eternity 2. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get some colors going on, huh? Okay. Flight check. Missing a weapon assignment. Low mobility. That's okay. Put the laser there. Put the missile there. Good. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a weapon for this, unfortunately. But we'll get one. Okay. Let's see. How do we add color to it? How do we paint? Hmm. Edit? Forgot how you did that. Color J. Okay. Hmm. Wasn't there a way in which you could control the color for everything, though? Forgot how. Okay, well, let's lock this in real quick. Except... And there we go. We got our starship design ready to go. Okay, inspect. Upgrade. Okay. How does this UI exactly function? Like, yeah, if I just want the next version of it, I can do that. That uses the exact same model. Huh, the improved version actually shaves off some mass, despite increasing all other stats. Handy. Neat, okay. Sure. Let's see here. How do we do the color, though? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Default. Okay. Yeah, how was it that you apply the color to everything? Maybe let's get out of here real quick. Okay. I'd like to view and modify. Okay, no problem. No, that doesn't work. Let's see, and how do you rename too? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's also a way in which you can, like, sell off a ship, but I don't think you can ever sell off Frontier, can you? Okay. Yeah, I forget. Do I have to just, like, select every single part? Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, double-click on a part, and it selects everything. Great. Okay. Which isn't perfect, but it's a fun way to kind of get some stuff going, right? Okay, how do we want this to look? Hmm. Kind of liking the green. Kind of liking that. Go for this, too. Brown makes it seem, like, the orangish brown makes it seem a lot more like a work vehicle, which I do also enjoy, especially since we're using so much Hope Tech stuff. Definitely a fan of that. Yeah, let's go with, like, that. How about down here? Ooh, we could also do, like, um, like, really make it, like, it's a work vehicle. Yeah, like that. Give it, like, the caution 
orange. Oh, yeah, like it's just a utility vehicle. Oh, that's kind of, that's a fun idea. Right? I kind of like that. We'll return that to default. Maybe I want a different section to have that color, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Go back to default. Yeah, I think it is number two that I want uh, to have that. Yeah, now it looks like repurposed equipment. Which feels in tune with the spirit of Junk Dog. We could also get like a different auxiliary color, but I think uh, default is probably going to be the way because it's a nice, satisfying gray. Let's see. Let's dial down the saturation and kind of get an idea of... Dial down the brightness. Hmm. I feel like it's gray, you know? I feel like it's got to be gray. We'll give it like a hint of red too within that gray. Or maybe green. Or blue. Yeah, blue. Fun fact with blues. Um, when it comes to clothing, especially shirting, a lot of shirts that are white will actually be slightly blue. Right? They add in a, a substance called, I think, bluing. <laughs> right? It's, as plain as it sounds, as uninteresting as that sounds. But, because to the, the like naked eye, just a regular white shirt almost seems like faded, <laughs> as weird as it is, right? Um, it doesn't seem as white to most people as a white shirt with a very, very faint amount of blue. Not like a light blue, but like such an imperceptibly faint amount of blue that it seems as if it is actually white in fact more white than white and a lot of shirting will just do that let's see here oh my gosh i'm kind of liking this Okay. Yeah, I'm into that. I do kind of want the colors really inverted on the the baggage. Yeah. That's what I want. So now where does this appear? Oh, I see. We could just make it bright red. Hmm. Or go with that. Huh. Yeah, for some of these parts, it's good. For other parts, I don't know. Let's accept that. And then, let me just change these. Let's see, can I select? Yeah, hold control. And then, let's see here. Change that, and then alternate them. Good. That feels right to me. Okay. Accept that. And then... Let's check out the front here. Yeah, get our tertiary color to be... Default. Good. Now how about on these back here? Let's take a bit of a look. Let's see then. 
So if I set this to that color, yeah. And then we swap those around too. Yeah, I feel like that's better. I can't help but shake the feeling that maybe I'm preferring this color scheme because I've been playing uh, very casually because I haven't had too much time for it, especially since I'm being sucked into, like, Baldur's Gate. But I've been playing uh, Satisfactory, and this is, like, the default color scheme. And I, although you can change it, I quite like it. Okay. And maybe we do the same back here. With the, the piping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe even, yeah, those internals. Should I change those? Make them a little bit darker? Make them more red? Okay, I like that. Oh, yeah, this is looking so nice. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, how about this? The landing gear here. I feel like the metallic part, I don't want it that, like, that color. Hmm. Well, that ain't quite controlling what I want. Okay. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Yeah, that feels correct. And these habs, how about these? I think maybe we could stand to invert them, too. And their coloration. Okay. So let's go for gray right there. And then kind of orange right there. Yeah. And what am I controlling on this part? Is that even one that's visible? Is it like on the top side? Okay, it's like this little, these little tiny bands here. We're slightly changing those around. I see. Okay, accepting that. Can you change the color of these? No, the weapons always stay the same. Okay. How about this in the back? Hmm. Oh, I see what I'm changing. It's right there, that little doohickey. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, but that said, this whole plating is kind of... Well... Nah, I think I, I... Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, good. Cool. Now, how do I rename it? Like I said, I, I may not be able to rename it. That may not be doable. Huh. Yeah, you, you maybe cannot. Messages. Yeah, I don't think so. Confirm modification. Good. Okay. Can I look at your vehicles too? Oh, should I modify our... Our Rev-8? I think I should. Okay, no problem. Let's change the colors around a bit. Let's kind of do the same. Right? Hmm. That way it matches. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There we go. Alternatively... Oh no, it's just back here that the color comes in, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like that works because you can see the interior, and the interior is definitely kind of grayish. I could also color this part and have that be what pops. Let's desaturate this blue a bit more. Darken it. Okay. Except. Hmm. Now let's try and rotate those around. Now that we have them saved like that. Yeah, how do I feel about that? We can even change around the color of this blue. Darken it a bit more. Hmm. Desaturated from the blue. And I almost feel like that works better because the Rev 8 is in like this burgundy. This red. This type of red. And that pops a little bit better off of the, the blue. Yeah, just a faint hint of blue in that gray. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's kind of good. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I love the idea that there are stats here, as if uh, there's room to add to it. I wonder if that's stuff that they have plans to, to add more junk to it, or if it's like they're building it out for when if when players want to add more vehicles to the vehicle system. You know? Okay. Let's see what you have. I'm sure you can find something for you sale. Like. Just to like get some inspo. Just to look. Oh yeah, here's the watchdog. This is like a regular one. Which honestly I think looks worse than the one <laughs> right. I think it looks shittier than the one that we had. Right? Because it has it's a little bit higher profile, and it has three rockets around the back. Okay. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I love these. The, like, solar panels or whatever. The fans. Vindicator. A little too bog standard, but I think there's there's something to be said for something that looks bog standard, I guess. Oh man, yeah, this looks cool as shit. God, yeah, this looks amazing. Holy shit. I mean it could be better because I when I see these gigantic fuel tanks here, I want to believe that um they're all connected. You know, so maybe I would change that out. But yeah, I love the look of this. Right? This is... This feels like something that is... Like, in tune with my own ship design ethos, right? There's the shitty bumpers in the front. Loads of piping, right? You can see all the, like, structural elements where things are connected to each other. This part looks kind of shit, right? This could be a bit better. <laughs> Make no mistake. This could stand to look less like ass, but hey. How much can you inspect? Nah, not much. Can I sell the Frontier? I could sell this thing? It's only valued at, <laughs> at eight grand. Holy shit, okay. And the Junker Watchdog we just fixed up? Also not incredibly valuable. <laughs> Golly. You know what they say, as soon as you walk off the fucking lot. Fuck. Okay. And you can buy a duplicate, I guess? Can you rename it? From here? No. I don't remember where you can rename it. Maybe because we got the Junker Watchdog from elsewhere. We can't rename it. Right? Maybe that's it. Okay. My ship needs some repairs, does it? Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken... Oh, fuck. 
I hope you did it, because you just took a bunch of my money, and I don't have much left. <sighs> okay. Let's look at it out here. God, yeah, look at them. They're matching now. Ooh. Oh, I love that the, the colors kind of match. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, uh, that, that's like when you put on a nice outfit, and then you got a little hat that goes along with it. Right? A little hat that uh, sings in harmony with the rest of the fit. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I think uh, as well, like I said, you can very clearly see places where we can very clearly upgrade it. You know? And I'm down for that. How come there's some light on this side? What is this being produced by? At first I thought it was coming from underneath the fuel tanks, but I don't think that's the case. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look inside. So these assholes over here are not shutting the fuck up. Can I run over there and look at their shit real quick? Are they gonna open up their little undercarriage, their docking bay? Yeah, look, it just popped open. Cool. Yeah, if I run in here, I can take their meds, right? Inaccessible. A free star narcissist. I'm detected? By who? By Andresia? Yeah, I'm detected by somebody. They have, like, a camera in here? They know I'm gonna take their shit? Oh, it's free, actually. Yeah, it didn't say it was stealing. That was just free meds. Shit, I like that. Okay, let's go on inside for real. Yeah, see and look at these people, the technicians, right? They're uh, they're sort of set up in a similar way, right? Like a, it's a, like a work uniform, right? It's for visibility, which these days a lot of work crews and stuff use the like neon green yellow, right? Because that is fair enough, like a bit more visible than orange. Right? Especially depending on where you are and what time of uh, year it is. Okay. So let's go on up here. Board. Now we He's should still have the junked or up. Are there other matters that require or did it get cleaned up? I'm up for a little adventure. It looks like it got cleaned well, up. New. Right? Remember, this was the one where it was like complete shit. Oh, look, things are kind of hovering around. Ship. It's like Christmas every day. Yeah, if only I had more money. Why don't you fucking go get me right, some money, Cora? Start stealing shit. It's time to figure out the details of our little bet. Uh oh. Come on, Sarah, not this again. I'm telling you, there's no point in setting up that wager. So you intend to stick with the ridiculous notion that the beer served at the hitching post is better than Jake's? Better than Jake's? Better than Madame Sauvage's place in Neon. Better than anywhere, hands down. Hmm. <laughs> you must have banged your head on a console during that last grab jump. No one in their right mind would make a claim like that. All right, look, you want to throw your money away, I'd be happy to take it. Otherwise, let it go already. One day, we're going to system hop and test your theory. I just hope you're ready for some serious disappointment. Mm. Hmm? Andresia? You have my attention. Let's do a quick trade. I am you got a lot of resources. Carry an extra weapon. Or two. Or three. Let's see here. And I just want the resources. I'll stash it into the ship's cargo hold. Thank Back you. Me, have any new books for me? Okay, and there we are. Oh, and there's money in here, too. Great. And then let's stow these. Cool. Fantastic. And look, we still got plenty of encumbrance to spare. Lovely. Okay. 
And I should probably put some of these other weapons in here for future use if we need ammo types and whatnot. Okay. Sure. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I quite like this little cockpit. Right, it fits with the vibe. The sort of, um, like, work vibe. Oh, there's a galactic hat in there, too. Okay. Now, up here, it's still kind of, like, shitty. Okay, but yeah, down this way, it definitely got cleaned up quite a bit. It's gotta be said. You need something? And this is our docking area. Alright. Flick on the lights. And this should be completely empty, yeah. Oh, the galley we can actually use. Oh, and the bunks we can actually use, too. Okay, that works out. Great. Now, can I throw down some more... Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And Whoa. none of that grab tech cheating? Yeah, I think the, the unique interior here has caused some minor <laughs> issues, I think, right? There's some stuff that's, like, kind of floating, and there's some clipping going on with I a weird globe. Confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Okay, let's head on up here. Sure. I've got a minute. Hey. There we are. And let's initiate decoration mode. Do I have what it takes to build anything? I got a research lab. That ain't great. Hmm. But it could do. Okay, let's head round the back. And let's plant it. Why not right here? Get it kind of angled in a bit. Good. I can't change the color on these things, can I? <laughs> can I? Okay. Oh, do I still know how to make the space frog stuff? Hold up. Hey, how are you? Let's see. Do I still remember those recipes? Or would I have to go through the... Uh, everything again for that. Let's see. Because Space Frog doesn't exist in this universe, but Space Frog exists in my heart. Oh, model ship Deimos. How'd I get that? Hold up, how did I get these model ships? Oh, fuck, these are cool as hell. How do I get more of them? I only have Deimos ones? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I got any Space Frog stuff. Picture. Yeah, nothing. Bounty poster. Warning sign. Storage. Furniture. I should probably build one of these on here, too. Just to be on the safe side. Put it up near the cockpit for ease of access. Yeah, we'll build it right there. <laughs> God. Hmm. Where could it go? There's a good section for it. Maybe right here? Eh, I don't know. Here, maybe like this. Oh, or... Well, no, because that would hit the door. Right, if we're, like, role-playing, that would hit the door. Or the door would hit it. Okay. Like this. I don't know how it... I don't know about it sort of screwing around there with the shit on the ground. Right? Maybe we do it at an angle? Nah, because look, it clips with those little nipple things there. 
Yeah, that ain't great. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be perfect. Right. You can really set it up back there. Cause see if I if I close this, oh no, it won't collide with it. Cause it opens in a weird fucking way. And it's got a little doohickey there. Okay. So it, it would work perfectly in this little corner section. Okay. Well we will do that then. Isn't there a way in which I can like hold control and make it go into a slightly slower amount of turning? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Great. I don't have a bounty, do I? Nope. Great. Good, good, good. Okay. Hmm. Should we go over to Hope Tech real quick and look at their ship builder? Let's do a quick save just in case we run into trouble. Where even was Hope Tech? Oh dear. Olympus? Hmm. Oh, this is my home. Okay. Yeah, I still need to pay that thing. Was it in Purima? Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what system it's in. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. We don't need to go there. Right, we don't even have the money anyway, I'm sure. Alright. Well, either way, I quite like how it turned out. Man, I quite like it. Too big to be stuck in the same place. Did it on a bit of a budget, but uh, we got there at the end. And vitally, time here we finally ranked up our, our little perk. Back memories. How far are we from a level, by the way? Hmm. Yeah, a little under half. About one third of the way there. All right, yeah, that ought to do it, huh? Yeah, when next we return, we will, shoot, I guess we'll start up Shattered Space. We'll try and get some money and all that, right? Nice thing about Shattered Space is I'm pretty sure very little of it is in space itself, which is a little antithetical to the title, <laughs> but, but nonetheless, we'll head out, we'll do it. Uh, we'll get a whole bunch of weapons. We'll see some new crap, right? Uh, thanks for watching this little interstitial one. If you decide to watch it, some easy viewing, easy listening, uh, whichever you prefer. A surprising amount of people do enjoy <laughs> listening to these and had requested that I make them, like, not the unlisted ones because it's easier for them to just, like, autoplay through the playlist. But hey, um, either way, the normal, normal playing of the game, quote-unquote normal, um, continues in the next one. Until next time, please take care of each other.